Have you ever worried about entering a writing contest? That's the topic I'm addressing today in The Right Question. I'm Daphne Gray Grant, the publication coach. I have a question from Gilbert Lee, a writer based in Owen Sound, Ontario. Here's what he asked by email. Do you think that entering writing contests is a good way to start? Also, I have concerns about who offers these contests. At the moment, I'm considering Funds for Writers and Institute for Children's Lit. Rightly or wrongly, I don't have any concerns about the Institute for Children's Lit, but I am wondering about Funds for Writers. Can you help me out? I did do a quick Google search, but I didn't get the answers I was looking for. Thanks for the question, Gilbert. You're very smart to have some concerns. I strongly recommend you familiarize yourself with the website Writer Beware, link below. For more than 20 years, the mission of Writer Beware has been to track, expose, and raise awareness of questionable practices within the publishing industry. Although the site is sponsored by the science fiction and fantasy writers of America, they don't limit their work to those genres. Let me read you one section from their statement of purpose. We maintain an extensive database of questionable literary agents, publishers, independent editors, writer services, contests, publicity service, and others. This database has been assembled thanks to the hundreds of writers and publishing professionals who have contacted us to share their experiences and to provide us with documentation. Our database is the most complete of its kind in the world. Interestingly enough, they publish a guest post by Hope Clark under the headline, The Red Flags of Writing Contests. And it turns out that Hope is the manager owner of the Funds for Writers newsletter. Isn't that a funny coincidence? Anyway, Hope's post is spot on and I'll present a quick summary of her advice now. Number one, be careful of brand new contests. Even if the contests are totally legit, the sponsors might not have enough experience to be able to handle matters well. You're better off sticking with established contests. Number two, watch out for no human involvement. Look at the About Us section on the website. If all they offer is a P.O. box and an email address like info at sneakycontests.com, then you may be dealing with a scam. People who are proud of their contests don't try to hide. Number three, consider the cost of entry versus the prizes being offered. If the cost of entry is really high and the prize is really cheap, obviously it's not worth entering. Also be wary if the only prize offered is publication. Legitimate contests should offer both, publication and a cash deal. Number four, examine previous winners. Are any of these people really famous writers now? That would be a really good sign. If they're not, or if you can't find out anything about previous winners, that may be a sign that they don't even exist. If that's the case, run, don't walk in the opposite direction. Number five, read the small print about rights. Some contests will try to demand your rights simply for entering the contest. That's wrong and unethical. All they should ask for is first-time or one-time rights for winners. If they ask for more, don't play. Number six, ask about the judges. Many contests don't tell you who is judging, so this isn't necessarily a red flag. On the other hand, if there's a prestigious or well-respected judge involved, that should increase your desire to participate. Gilbert, after reading Hope Clark's very wise advice, I'd feel totally secure entering any contest endorsed by Funds for Writers. In fact, her website, link below, was chosen by Writers Digest as one of the best 101 websites for writers from the years 2001 to 2012. I also include a link to her post on red flags. Finally, let me wrap up with a quote from the American young adult author, Kate DiCamillo. I actually participated in a Little Miss Orange Blossom contest when I was seven or eight. I remember standing up on the stage and thinking, oh boy, I should not be here. Gilbert, entering a contest can actually be a fun, exciting and rewarding opportunity, but only if the contest sponsor is operating on fair and just principles. Keep your wits about you whenever you go to enter a contest. 
If you'd like to learn how to make writing a fun, more fulfilling process for you, take a look at my latest book, Your Happy First Draft. It's not available in bookstores or via Amazon. The only place you can find it is on my website, link below. Mm -hmm.